Hello and welcome back. Now I love cryptozoology. Bigfoot, Loch Ness Monster, I love these sorts of stories about cryptids and I find the lore behind many of them fascinating. This video has nothing to do with cryptozoology. Rather, it has to do with real animals. Well, fake real animals. Well, ah, you'll see what I mean. Hans Wormhat is a conspiracy tuber. If there's a conspiracy out there, Hans buys into it heart and soul. In the video today, Hans is going to show us his list of the top 10 fake animals. Enjoy. Hans Wormhat, this is a video on the top 10 fake animals. I just told them that. And so we'll start with 10, the anaconda. Ah, the anaconda, native to South America. Of the genus, you, you can, uh, um, yeah, I can't pronounce that. Why is this on your list? Have you guys ever been to the zoo or some other place with, with reptiles and they'll have these giant snakes that just sit there and they never move. Yep. Animals in captivity, particularly reptiles, don't really move around a whole lot since they don't really have that much room to move, nor do they have the need to hunt. It's just a fake snake and so many photos like this exist out there that are just ludicrous, obvious CGI. That's not CGI. This is a video from 2019 showing an anaconda crossing a road in Brazil. Yet another reason to not go to Brazil. I'm going to skip the rest of his bullshit conspiracy, it's all Hollywood movie magic rhetoric, and get to the next animal. The, seriously, if you look up anaconda, this is what you get. You get a bunch of stuff that looks like this. They don't even try. They, it's funny. It's called clickbait. It gets clicks, which is how one gets paid. I had to point that one out, though. Okay, nine. Nine on the list. I chose the shoe bill because this came out of nowhere. It's just a CGI creation. Do you guys remember when the shoe bill first appeared on the scene? Ah, yes, I remember it well. It was a warm summer's eve back in 1850 when my good friend John Gould described it to me. Although it was known to the ancient Egyptians, he had finally come up with a name for the magnificent bird. Balancipus Rex. I nearly fell out of my chair laughing at him calling this beast a whale-head king. Ah, but I digress. People in the comments would say that doesn't look real. It looks like CGI. That doesn't look like a real animal. And I think some of them are puppets. Puppetry is a huge part of this fake animal thing. Just because it doesn't look real? doesn't mean it isn't. I've linked below a video from the BBC's Africa series that shows a really fantastic scene of the shoe bill. I can't show any of it because, you know, it's the BBC. And you can go research fake animal puppets. Uh, the Aflac duck is just a duck puppet and they touch it up with CGI. Okay, so once again, I'm going to skip his conspiracy it's all puppets in CGI. Shit for which he provides exactly zero proof. Number eight, I wanted to give something historical. The dodo bird. This didn't just start happening, these fake animals. Okay, so the dodo went extinct back in 1662. Are you going to tell us it was CGI then too? Or even animatronics? They fake everything. They lie about everything. For what possible reason is there to make up a story about a bird that went extinct nearly 400 years ago? I don't know why animals are this, it's this sacred cow topic. And for me, it's a huge, it's a huge indication of if you're dealing with a gatekeeper or not, if they're willing to talk on this subject, the fake animal thing. I don't know why it's such a heavily gatekept topic. If anyone can translate what the hell he just said there, do let me know in the comments. 
Because to me, it's similar to the outer space stuff. Okay, more conspiracy, blah, blah, blah. So here is number seven. Giant anteaters are definitely a hoax. Again, these creatures are native to South America. There are a lot of strange looking animals from South America, and the Amazon in particular. A winning entry from the Wildlife Photograph of the Year competition has been disqualified after it was discovered the photo was of a stuffed animal. What do you know? Good. Cheetahs never win. Cheetahs, on the other hand. A photograph of a taxidermy anteaters. All great anteaters like this, they're taxidermy or suits that actors can go in. Do you even know what taxidermy is? It is the body of a dead animal. Sure, some people make bizarre creations out of many animals, but not in this case. In this case, it was disqualified because the rules required the photo to be of a living animal. This video from San Diego Zoo shows two anteaters walking around. Beautiful creatures. A human can fit in this suit. Look at that. It's like a Cirque du Soleil fake animal. It's an actor. As you can tell, there is a running theme here. Skippity doo da. Okay, so number six on the list. Do you see where this is going? Rope climbing robots. Wow, a rare robot caught in the wild. It's not even an animal. Let's see what old Hansi has to say about it. Sloths are not real animals. I'm honestly beginning to think you just hate South America at this point. Fun fact. Sloths are related to the previous entry and are adorable. There are thousands of videos available to watch. They're animatronics. And people like David Attenborough are big phonies. They're actors. And the reason that they're, they're so acclaimed for their acting skills is because their ability to make it seem like they're taking it so serious. That's what he said every time I've skipped. On to the next animal. Look at these tree climbing robots, bringing us to number five on the list. Yeah, fuck me, it's a drop bear. Koalas. This was a big, viral, pushed video on YouTube, and you can clearly see it's CGI. That's not a real animal. Oh, I can assure you, koalas are very real, and I have personally seen many of them in the wild. Not in a zoo, but in the wild. Not even going to bother listening to his reasoning here. I'm going to skip to the next one. Better not be a platypus. I think we're... Are we already on number four? Penguins. The emperor penguins. The orange emperor penguins. The ones that they make movies about. The South Pole. is It's not icy. Antarctica. There's a lot of hoaxery when it comes to Antarctica. Oh, you've been there then? No? Didn't think so. Penguins only live in the Southern Hemisphere. And again, they are very real. Simon Dan recently debunked your penguin video, so I'll leave a link to his video below. Next animal. Okay. Number two. Is this really number two? Maybe I lost track. Three. <laughs> Great white sharks are a hoax. Sure they are. On a completely unrelated topic, I'd like to invite you to swim at some of our lovely beaches. What's the bit he brings up Jaws? That's why they have to do Shark Week. You get a whole week to it. It's another one that they sold with the movie Jaws. Nailed it. Moving on. They like to sell things with the movie. Anaconda movie. We get the Jaws movie. They don't survive in captivity. Could you say that again? They don't survive in captivity. Wouldn't fake ones be able to be held in captivity? You just debunked your own argument here. Next. Okay, two. Now I'm back on the numbering, I think. Number two, fake animal pandas. It's the poster child of the WWF. WWF, it's fake, just like the World Wrestling Federation. Neither pandas nor the WWF is fake. The WWF logo is a panda, as they are easily recognizable, and pandas are an endangered species. It's called marketing. Pretty sure everyone except Hansi here knows pandas aren't fake. Let's move on to see what his number one is. Unless he says something outrageously stupid before then. 
And lastly, okay, top number one fake animal. It's kind of cheating because it's many, many animals. The great apes are all a hoax. They are humans in fursuits. Oh, your God. You can't be serious right now. Of all the animals, you pick apes? What about the platypus? Look at this Pokemon looking thing. How could you not pick the platypus? And it's clearly satanic deception to make people believe in evolution and to think that they're a monkey. Does it upset you to know you have a common ancestor with these primitive beasts? I liken this to NASA Outer Space Land. If you have the discernment to be able to tell that NASA's BS, you absolutely should have the discernment to be able to tell that gorillas are people in suits and that all of these great apes are just like NASA's there to sell you the outer space fantasy. Great apes are here to sell you the evolution fantasy to make people believe that they are monkeys. Well, I think I'll leave Hans here. This insanity goes on for another eight minutes. And that's not including all of the minutes I've already cut out. I had to watch it all. People believe it. People really believe that. And the reason that they believe that is this great ape hoax. I do hope you enjoyed this journey into the world of Hans Wormhat, the internet's biggest conspiracy theorist. If you want to watch all of Hans' insanity, I don't know why you would, there is a link to his video, as well as all the sources I use in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, a special thank you to Purple Haze and Pyramid Head for their support over on Patreon. And to you, dear viewer, don't be like Hans. Go out and see the world once in a while. Until next time, friends, don't be a dick.